Oil comes from two different sources. One is made out of natural resources found in our earth. The other is completely man-made. Both are considered to be base oil. This is the oil you buy at the store and use in your vehicles. Both are made to protect our equipment. Both make it possible for us to work, drive, play, and go on with life as we know it. Oil is an essential part of life for millions of people. But rising oil cost and environmental issues are taking a toll on the earth. According to the EPA, the largest single source of oil pollution is due to improper disposal of used motor oil, leakage, and spilling. Did you know that the used oil from one single oil change can contaminate one million gallons of fresh water? That's a year's supply of water for 50 people, while in North America alone, an estimated 51 million gallons of used motor oil makes its way into the environment. So here's the big secret you've been waiting for. That the 191,000 gallons of refined motor oil North Americans alone use in a single day can be completely cut in half, and in most cases by a whopping 80%. The big oil industry does not want you to know that your oil does not go bad. That's right, I'm going to say it again. Your oil does not go bad. It's your additive package in your oil that actually goes bad. Every oil manufacturer puts additives in their oil. Now, when you need to change your oil, it's because your oil is actually dirty or because your additive package has been used up. Hi, I'm Bart Miller with Power Up Lubricants, here today to show you how to keep using your existing base oil. I also want to teach you today how to save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in saving your base stock and reusing it. I also will hope that you will join us in a worldwide effort of saving the environment. For our generation, for our children's generation, and for their children's generation. We learned about uh, bypass filtration. Uh, what it does for you is it takes the impurities out of the oil and still leaves all the base stock in the oil. And once we understood that, we started using the bypass filters and then we use it in, in four of our semis. And the reason we started using it in our semis and our equipment is simply for the reason of reliability and uh, longevity, longevity of the equipment. And uh, that's has you know it's resulted in much more use out of our oil uh, per oil change. Hi, I'm Jason Warren, professional team roper. I drive a 2004 Dodge Diesel. Carrying as much as I do with me with the horses, I can't afford to be broke down on the side of the road. Pulling samples and changing my oil cartridge allows me to go 25 to 30 thousand miles on an oil change. That saves me money and keeps me on the road. You can easily save your base oil and accomplish all the things I've promised. Here's how. This is a clean oil bypass filtration system. This system will keep you from dropping your base oil for an extended period of time, depending on how much you actually use your vehicle. I want to show you, not just tell you how it works. We have mounted a regular truck filter and a clean oil bypass filtration system side by side. Then we secured a cylinder containing premium oil next to the filters and attached tubes to both the OEM filter and the clean oil bypass filtration system. In other words, we have recreated a real life application of what you would see happen inside the hood of your vehicle. Next, we put carbon into the cylinder and run it through the regular OEM filter. As you can see, it does not filter out the carbon. Then we flip a switch, and the oil runs through the clean oil bypass filtration system, and it immediately starts to clean the oil. After about 15 to 20 minutes of running the oil through the clean oil filtration system, the oil is actually cleaner than the original oil that was put in the cylinder. This just goes to show you that by using a clean oil bypass filtration system, you do not have to change your oil just because it's dirty. As we have shown you, the oil is actually cleaner than the OEM oil that you originally put in your engine. Now that we've solved the problem with the base oil getting dirty, 
What do we do with the additives that the manufacturers put in the original oil? Are they still there? The answer is no. As I said earlier, the reason you need to change your oil frequently is because your oil gets dirty and the additive package gets used up. Additives are sacrificial in nature, so they're supposed to be used up. So what can we do about that? Well, let me introduce to you an incredible solution called Power Up. Hello, I'm Michael Clausen with Bully Dog Technologies, and we have tried Power Up in some of our vehicles, and the one specific instance that I remember is trying it in a Ford Expedition. It had a rattle in it, developed a rattle in it. We tried gunk, and that did not work. Then we tried another product, and that didn't work. And then we ended up trying some power up. And ultimately, the rattle in the engine went away. And we ended up driving the vehicle for another 15 or 20,000 miles before we um, let the vehicle go. And the engine was still running fine. Hello, my name is Andy Dobson. We live in southeast Idaho on a little farm, approximately 2,000 acres uh, between wheat and uh, alfalfa. We use the power up uh, products and all of our, our equipment. I also have a wife and a daughter who both barrel race and rodeo and uh, we use it in the rigs that they drive mainly for peace of mind for myself because I know with the product in there that they're going to be safer out on the highway because I don't have to worry about them breaking down like I used to with, with the normal products that we used to use just because the additive is so much better than what we used to run and so we just don't have the problem with it. My name is Richard Mad Dog Madsen. You know, over the years, I've added a lot of things, or I've tried a lot of things, and I've been very skeptical about things. You see ads on TV, try this, try this. And it's good to be skeptical, especially when you're spending the kind of money that you are on, on engines like this, on turbochargers, on transmissions. There's so much out there, and, and it's good to be skeptical. But I've, this is something that I have tried, that I've hands-on applied myself, um, I have my own dyno, I've done dyno testing, and I have seen the results. And uh, I'm here to say that, uh, you know, I highly recommend Power Up. Uh, try it. Um, I endorse it. This is something that I'm not paid to do. I'm, they're not twisting my arm. It's because I know it works. I've tried it. I've seen the results.